What's up, guys? Dustin, you here? Back with the NHL four, 13. I almost said 14. Oh my god. GM mode with the Montreal Canadiens. And uh, you, you guys asked me to look at some of the rookies from the other teams. So, um, yeah, we'll do that quickly. Um, I'll just look at some of the main ones. So, whoops. Okay, we'll go like this. Unsigned. So, Phoenix got. McKinnon, where is it? Phoenix, there we go. Uh, where's McKinnon? There's there's Nathan McKinnon, 62 overall, four and a half green stars. <clears throat> uh, Seth Jones went to Colorado. Do, 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 do. Where is he? Colorado. All right, Seth Jones, 60 overall, four and a half stars. Um, and then you guys want to see some goalies. So Columbus got Shovel Dave. Oh, right here. So he's a four and a half star yellow or gold, I guess, uh, 58 overall. And the other one was Bartosek, or Bartosek. Oops. Rookie goalies. He was on. F he went to Philly. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Bartosek, four and a half, fifty-five. Wow, he's already twenty years old. All right. So there you go. There's some of the players. Um, and we're into the free agent. Or well, I guess not free agent yet, but re-sign phase slash free agency. Um, so, <clears throat> definitely some things to think about. I want to put Galchenyuk on the first line with Jeff Carter. I want to see how he does there. I'm not sure what to do with Thomas Klanek. He might end up playing... Uh, yeah, go to contract screen. Yeah, he, I think he might be end up on the second line. I'm not sure, though, at the moment. Uh, okay, UFA. So, we got Ryder, Colby Armstrong, Drewski... Nukalainen. Um Okay, so Ryder and Armstrong are going to be targets for sure. Uh, Ryan White, definitely, I think. I think he was our fourth line center, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Okay, so fourth line center, definitely going to keep him. And Kohlberg, I want to keep. And then we're going to sign a bunch of our rookies. Uh, okay, so let's go with Kohlberg first. Uh, okay, so he wants two years. How old is he? 19 right now. How is he only 19? That doesn't make sense. That's not like a three-year rookie contract. Okay, well, let's let's go for three years here. Uh, I'll just put him up. He's a two-way anyway, so it doesn't matter. I, I'm just curious to see if he'll get any better, so we'll see. We'll see about him. All right, next up, Ryan White. We want to keep. He's gonna be on our fourth line still. Um, one point six would be like one hundred thousand, basically. Uh, so let's go one point five. Okay, we don't have any big names to resign, which is nice. Definitely a good good sign. Okay, we got Ryder. Uh, two years at 2.3, so that'd be 200 and 200,000 pretty much. Be 21. Let's see if we can get him for 2 million. See if we can get him for straight 2 million. I think that'd be good. That'd be a pretty solid. Um, and then goalies. We need some goalies here. Okay. I'm going to check. Alright, so Ramo is a UFA. Budai is a UFA. Mayer is an RFA. Uh, Kozen we just drafted. Okay, Carey Price is good for a few years anyways at the moment. Alright, so Ramo. I'm going to sign him so we can trade him. Because he's, he's, he's still at a decent trade value. Uh, he wants a two-way, which is good. Okay. Just give him that. Uh, Peter Budai. Yeah, that's reasonable, I guess. Nine point nine million. Uh, Robert Mayer, might as well. Eh, I guess we could sign him. We could just trade him too. 
some teams might be looking for like rookie goalies so okay uh, all skaters okay let's go back here and then we're gonna sign our rookies for now okay so Josh Morrissey we're gonna sign we're not gonna put him on forward ever so don't don't bring that up it's never gonna happen uh, Jordan Subban I want to sign Darnell Nurse we're gonna sign pretty good uh, Miko Lettinen, he's a three and a half star, we're gonna sign him. Jonathan Druin, obviously, we're gonna sign. No doubt about that. It's not even a question. Uh, Ikkenin, might as well. He's a three and a half star. Pretty good. We're gonna have a lot of rookies here. And then Charles Hedden, we're gonna try and trade. Linus Froberg, we can try and trade. See, the good thing about some unsigned players is that they'll still have value that we can use. They'll basically be like a draft pick that we can just trade. Uh, okay, let's advance a day, see what we get here. Obviously, all the rookies should sign. And then, hopefully, the main players we need will be signed. And then, basically, it's going to be process of elimination. Do, 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 do. I wonder how much cap space or how much um, how many years left Caberlet has can you I wonder yeah I'm not 100% I'm not sure I feel like you can still buy out players in the free agency but I could be wrong wow okay what? decided to reject oh wow Okay. Okay, that's strange. Okay. So Ryder will not go for two million. Uh he should take two point one though. Two point one. He should anyways. That's less than uh ten percent, so uh we're gonna keep him Well yeah, Buddha, you could have impacted us more if you freaking played good. You suck this year. You literally didn't do anything. Every time I put you in net, you lost. <laughs> like, what do you want? Um, okay. Oh, did I? I thought I signed Armstrong. Maybe I didn't. Uh, so 1.885. 10% would be 1.8. So let's go with 0.2. So 1.6. Uh, six eight five, I guess. We'll go down two hundred thousand. Six eight five. Go down two hundred thousand there, Drewski. Um. Okay, we're gonna go a day. Hopefully, there's some type of defenseman that's available in the free agency. That'd be nice. I don't want someone that I have to give up draft picks for, but. If there is anybody, there we go. Reject. Wow. Really? Okay. Ah, Colby Armstrong. Like, you're a third liner. What do you want, bro? 1.885. Okay, whatever. We'll give you 1.75. Stop being a jerk about it. Uh, okay, so now... It's kind of just thinking about... I don't know how many players. Wait one second. I don't, I'm not sure how many players we actually have. Players under contract. We have 40 right now. Okay. Okay. So we have 40 players under contract. Kind of thought we had a bit more, but that's okay. <coughs> oh, jeez. All right. I thought I signed these guys. The heck? I thought I signed these guys. I swear to God, I just signed them. What the hell? Darnell Nurse? Can you only sign so many rookies, maybe? Maybe that's what happened? Because we definitely signed. Huh. Ikkenin. I thought we signed some of these guys. The heck? 
Cause I definitely want to get everyone I can going in the in the AHL if I if it's possible. Okay, what the hell? What was that about? Okay, let's go a day. I thought I yeah I totally thought I signed all those players. All right, come on. Do 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 do. Easy decision. Oh, your roster is full. What? This offer is not. Oh, my roster is full. How's my roster full? It doesn't say I'm full. It says I have 41 players under contract. What the hell? Maybe oh maybe it includes these RF or these guys. Maybe that's what it is. I've never thought about that, but maybe they're still technically on our team, right? Uh, okay, so we need to get rid rid of some players, I guess. Mm, I didn't even think about that. Okay, so we need four, five spots. Holy crap! Okay, so we need five spots. Anybody in the sixties, I think I'm gonna get rid of two and a half star players. We don't really need. Anybody in the 60s, yeah. Like this guy is gone. Release. Okay. Um. Um. Bo -bo 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 -bo. This guy threw two and a half stars. It's obviously not gonna get better. Yannick Weber, three stars. I don't feel like there's a point in me keeping these two and a half star players especially when I can sign three and a half star players uh, Ian Schultz release see ya bro uh, Nygren I might keep three star players uh, I'm gonna get rid of this guy release okay let's sign our four star guys here <clears throat> I thought that was kind of weird. I was like, why can't I sign them? But I guess that makes sense if my roster is full. Okay, Suban. How many guys have I released? I'm not even sure. Let's sign Suban. Um, <laughs> let in. Oops. Uh. Ikkenen will wait on for now. Uh, is there anybody else I want to get rid of? I guess I could just get rid of this guy. It doesn't really matter. Nygren. I don't feel like this guy's going to do anything for us. This guy is 25 already. I guess a 75 is a decent AHL player, though. I don't want to get rid of mid-70s. This guy, on the other hand, though, I don't think there's any way in two years he's going to be a 75, so I'm going to release him. And then this guy as well, release. I'll keep mid-70 players, because our AHL team, we still want them to do well. Because, I mean, if they do well, that means our younger guys will probably do not bad, hopefully. Um, what is this guy again? 70, yeah, I'm going to keep this guy. He's 75. Yeah, his value is really low. We're not going to trade him or anything, but Yannick Weber we're going to keep. <clears throat> one year okay rookie goalies unsigned I'm gonna keep him unsigned for for now I think we should be good now I think I think I think all right do, 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 do. yep 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 okay yeah yeah that's what it was yeah it's just because we didn't have any room Yes. <coughs> okay, so we have 49 players right at the moment. Is there... I might keep space. Sanguinetti. Stalic. Kelly, Junland. I think... So I should have one spot right now. Apparently. Do I have uh, any goalies that are unsigned? I don't think so. Okay, yeah, we'll keep one spot, just in case some player comes up. Yeah, we'll keep one spot. Okay. Alright, so we'll keep one spot available. 
If a defenseman, I don't need any forwards as far as I'm concerned, but if a, if there's a defenseman, I'll take one. Like a like a low 80 defenseman. Sanguinetti, I think he would be an RFA, I'm pretty sure. Which means we would have to offer a draft pick for him, but if we can get a low 80 defenseman, that'd be great. We don't need anything spectacular right now. Uh, the the plan is to tr trade Emelin and Diaz and uh, Caberlet if possible. If I can't trade Caberlet, it's not the end of the world. He can be in our top top six, but uh, continue whatever. I don't know why they always change my stuff. For okay, so Sanguinetti seems to be the only available one right at the moment. I'm gonna change my trading block because they decided to change it on me. Oops, New Jersey. Uh, okay, clear, clear, clear. I don't know why they do that to me. Okay, Diaz, Emelin, and Caberlet. I can't believe Caberlet is a one star. That's ridiculous. Caberlet. Okay. Because no, he's got one year left. So I mean, even if he fills in our our bottom like two defensemen, not bad. Um, obviously, Tenorti is going to be coming up. Surplus, no. We're not getting rid of our first wants. First round picks. We need top four defensemen, yes. I'm going to put that like that. Four star low. Uh, top six. I guess we could put that in there. I kind of want a backup goalie, though. Ta second line. We don't really need anybody up there. So I'm going to put uh, goalie. Other minor backup, minor starting backup. I'm going to put other, other goalie because then we might actually get young guys offered to us. Because that's what, kind of what we want. we want. We want some kind of backup goalie that maybe we can develop or something. Uh, yes, okay, we're going to change that. Okay, okay. oh, Cam Barker's on there. So there's straight Sanguinetti and Barker. I th I'm not sure if Barker would be a uh, restricted free agent or not. Okay, uh, we're going to, yeah, I'm going to go to UFAs so we don't get a mix up here. Cam Barker, I think, would fit perfectly on our team right now. Uh, Mark Andre Bergeron wouldn't be bad too. We have nine million. We only have space for one player at the moment. Um, what do we have for goalies actually? Nabokov, Jose Theodore. Oh, we could bring Jose Theodore back. Oh, we could bring him back as our backup. Yeah, we should do that. Oh man. Okay, we need to. I think we need to make some space though. <laughs> Bring Josie Theodore back to Montreal. I feel like Cam Barker would be perfect for us. He wants two years, 4.6. Uh, Bergeron would be good, too. I, I really... Mark Streit, I think, is... Yeah, he's an offense defenseman as well, but... Um, defensively, though, Cam Barker is better. I mean, his awareness... Or Mark Streit's awareness is 89, but his stick uh, checking and blocking or shot blocking 80 or 77 to 85 cam barkers is 83 awareness 87 and 87 uh, what is his passing 90 89 his deking 83 85 uh, anything is cam barkers shot isn't that great mark Streit's shot is good Although Cam Barker is younger, which is nice. He's a four star, strikes a two and a half. They both want two years, so there's possibility that uh, Cam Barker could actually get better. He had 34 points plus 19. That's pretty solid. Yeah, I think I'm gonna sign Barker. Marc Andre Bergeron's not e not a bad player either, but he's 32. That's the only thing. I remember I forget which NHL it was, but he used to be so fast. He was like one of the fastest D-men, like skating forwards. You could just rush with him every time. I forget which game it was. It was a few years ago, but 
Marc Andre Bergeron, if you had him on D, you could just like fly like with him. He would just go crazy. Um, yeah, we'll give him four point eight because Columbus and Nashville are both interested in him. Actually, we'll give him four point nine. We have the cap space. I mean, we're we're gonna be overpaying a little bit, but obviously the market value. Um, we could go for Marc Andre Bergeron if we bought out Caberly. If we buy out Caberly, his shot's not bad. I'd love to get Theodore to you, but um, yeah, let's go contracts here. I just want to kind of look at Caberly's stats. Obviously, Caverly's only got one more year, so that's not a huge deal. Like, if he f if he fills in our bottom two, yeah, like he like he isn't the greatest player, but for a top six, he's not bad. Obviously, Bergeron would be better, I would think, but yeah, like I could deal with Caverly for one more year. Caverly would play with Tenorti for sure. Because Diaz and MLN, I'm going to get rid of regardless. Tenorti, on the other hand, he's uh, 21 years old. Look at his shot power and holy crap. So shot power, 95, 93. His defense awareness is only 80, but his blocking and stick checking, 87, 85. His passing could be better. But, I mean, obviously, he's still young, right? Like, there's still room for improvement there. Um, yeah, so definitely going to get rid of Diaz and Emelin. Diaz and Emelin. Maybe I'll trade them for a first round or something, if we can get rid of them. The only, the, I mean, obviously the bad thing about Caberlet is that he is so expensive. That's like the worst part. But um, oh yeah, you can't, uh, you can't release a player after. Yeah, so I, I can't even buy him out now. For some reason, I thought you could buy them out during the uh, free agency period. That like. They should let you be able to buy all players whenever you want. It's kind of stupid. Same thing with uh, re-signing. You should be able to give contract extensions whenever you feel like you want to. Markov. Okay, so yeah, we're going to go for him. And we're going to trade Diaz and Emelin. Um, yeah, let's just see. We'll throw them up there. See if we can get something. Uh... Cause yeah, Caberly doesn't isn't terrible for a top six like for the or I guess a bottom six player. Diaz and Emelin. I don't know if anyone actually needs defense. Obviously Nashville and Columbus are both trying to sign Barker. So we could see if one of them wants him. Nashville. Oh, they both take him. Uh, the other option is, who could we trade the first round pick to? They wanted to get rid of their first last year. Yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> not at all. Philip Kuba. I don't really want that. Um... Who drafted those goalies? I'm trying to remember now. Philly drafted one for sure. Bartasak. They're trying to get rid of him. Okay, it wasn't Bartasak. It was the other goalie. Who the heck drafted him? One sec. I got to take a peek here. Uh, Bartasak and Shovel Dave went to Columbus. I don't think I could get him, but we could try. Oops, went too far. Columbus. Shovel Dave. I don't think they'll... Yeah, there's no way that's going to happen. I'm trying to get a first round, maybe. You'd consider taking Rafael Diaz if you want to try again. Uh, Florida. Their first is, like, really... Really valuable. Uh, if we could get... Maybe we could trade a second... Diaz and Emelin at a for a first? No. 
Yeah, I don't think teams will take both of them. Alright, well, we don't have to worry about that just yet. I don't think. Most teams would take them, but... Um, LA... Their first is really low. Minnesota's first is low. Oh, there we go. Emmeline and Diaz are gone. We got a first from Minnesota. Alright, and then we're going to sign Josie Theodore. Actually, you know what? We don't really need Josie Theodore. He'd be a waste of money, pretty much. Um, oh yeah, that's what I want, UFAs. Hopefully we get Barker. I gave him 4.9, that's... Hopefully. Let's see. Okay, let's go... Continue... Let's just go ahead here. I'd love to see if we can get first round for Bolio and no decline. Simulate. Come on, Barker. We want you, baby. Also gives us space there. Huh, <laughs> Michael Jordan. Carolina offers top prospect Michael Jordan a qualifying offer. Yeah, we did. Michael Jordan. Simulate to this day. Come on, I want to get Cam Barker. Once we sign Cam Barker, I'll end it because we don't really need anything else. I will deal with Caberlet for one more year. Not a big deal. Not the end of the world. We got two top D. Caberlet's an offensive D, and Cam Barker will take his spot as offensive D defenseman. And then our bottom, bottom two players will be uh, Tenorti, who's a defensive defender. And, uh, yeah, Caberlet, who's an offensive. I'm going to try and stay away from stacking my team too much because I've, I've found, yeah, we can win, uh, like, sometimes, but sometimes you don't win just because there's so many players fighting for ice time pretty much. Come on, Barker, just sign the damn contract. No, what? Don't tell me we didn't get him. I guess we'll see right away. 4.9. I offered him 4.9. Oh, yeah, he signed. He signed. Okay. Available cap went down and players under contract. I was extremely happy to accept your offer. There we go. All right. So we should be good, I think. Let's just look at our team right now. Contracts. We didn't need to do anything crazy. All right. So here, let's go through centers. So we got Carter, Placanic, Galchiniak, Eller, LeBlanc. Uh, LeBlanc will probably be third line. Eller, we'll see what we can get him into. If we can get him into the second line, that'd be nice. Uh, Galchiniak. Yeah, I'm hoping to get Galchiniak on the first line with Carter. Maybe Placanic. Um, it's possible, though. Uh, Patriotti's a second line forward. So it's even possible we might be able to put Placanic, Carter, and Galchiniak on the first line. Because, I mean, we have Lars Eller, who's a second liner. Patriotti's a second liner. Uh, Druin's gonna play a year in the in minors or slash HL. Gianta Bork, yeah. See, we I think we have too many second liners right at the moment. That's the only thing. We have a lot of yeah. Patchetti, Gianta, and Bork are all second liners. So we have one too many second liners. Uh, Gianta will probably stay because he had a lot of goals last year. I'm just unsure about between Bork and Patchetti. We'll have to figure it out. Uh, Gallagher, we're gonna bring up into the third line. Definitely. He's going to be playing third line. Ryder will probably be third line. And uh, we'll probably put LeBlanc third line. Yeah, definitely. So it'll be Louis LeBlanc at center. I, th I think he's a pretty good center. Let's see here. Uh, oh, 60. Wow. Okay. Louis LeBlanc, Ryder, and Gallagher. Let's get Ryder's 65. What's Gallagher's face most? 60. Okay, well, LeBlanc will play center. That's fine. And then we don't really need to worry about our fourth line. We got guys. Um, yeah, defense, Markov, Subban, and then... So that'll be our first two. Georges and Barker, second two. And then Caberlet, Tenorti. Caberlet, yes, he sucks. But, you know, what? he's only got one year left. We can sign someone or maybe by then we'll have one of our many young defensemen. Bullio might be ready to go. Or 
Darnell Nurse, or we got Ludwig Bystrom, we got Subban, we got Morrissey. There's we got a ton of guys. Uh, goalie wise, we're not going to worry about getting Jose Theodore. We have Budai. Price is going to basically carry most of the weight, anyways. We can probably trade Ramo. Maybe try and get a young. I mean, we got a bunch of goalies. We can probably try and trade and get a young goalie, but for now, we're gonna we're gonna stick with this. All right. So we'll end it there, and we'll get into the preseason next video. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.